Sometimes you have a photograph and you want to adjust one single color in the photo. How do you do that? We're going to take a look at that right now in Lightroom. I'll show you a couple of different ways. Now, typically when you're just starting out with Lightroom, you might make edits that are global, meaning the edits affect the entire photograph all at the same time. And some examples of a global edits are things like temperature, where we move the temperature up or down, and the entire photograph is either made warmer, like this, or cooler, like this. It's a very useful tool. However, when you're looking to isolate one single color and only manipulate that color, that'll run into problems. You have the same issues with tint. You can increase tint and add magenta. You can add green. But again, it adds it to the entire image rather than the one specific color that you want to highlight. You can go down to your color grading wheels. And again, it's a very similar idea. You can, you can pick your midtones, shadows, or highlights, and then add or subtract certain hues to those. So let's say that you wanted to, uh, you know, pull down uh, shadows in, in your, in your reds. You could do that with, with this, but it does it to the entire image. So how do you change just one color in your photograph? In this example, we have this row of cottages. And if we wanted to adjust the color of just the cottages, we can do that in the color mixer. And the easiest way is to click this little circle thing here, which is our selection tool, and then hover over any of the, of the color that we want to adjust and just mouse click it. Just click on the color and that will tell Lightroom to automatically select that color. And then we can go into our little sliders here and adjust. We can adjust our luminance up. You can see what that does. You can bring your luminance down and you can see what that does. You can do the same with saturation. You can really saturate those things with color or you can even take all the color out of them. Another way to do it is we have this point color feature and sometimes it's hidden. Right? So sometimes it just looks like this and you go in there and just click that menu so it opens up. This is very similar except in your color mixer, if you select your oranges, it's gonna select all the oranges. So if there's some orange in the sky, if it's sunset, then it's gonna do that also. When you use point color, it's much more specific and it's gonna do only this little place right here. So you can see it'll bring up this little color chart here. That single little speck of color is the one it's going to adjust. In this case, I think that's gonna work because all of these little cottages have that color, but let's see what it does. Yeah, you can see that that's a really nice result with our luminance. And then we can do the same with our saturation. We can really pull that up. This is a much more precise version than what the color mixer offered to us. Uh, you might notice when we're, look at the, the bottom on the sidewalk and the bike lane there. When I bring this, the luminance up and down, you could see that there's like some reflection of the color from the houses down onto the concrete there. So how do you get rid of that? Check this out. If we go down here and we have this little box that says visualize range, we're going to click that. And then that's going to turn everything black and white just temporarily as we're processing. And we're going to be able to select the range of color that we want. So what we'll do is bring that range. If we bring it up, it might select um, uh, more color than we want. And if we bring it down, it'll start to select less and less and less. So if we bring that all the way down and then play with our luminance, see what that does? It, it stopped it from overflowing into the street there. And it's only focused on the houses. So that's a really, really cool trick to really isolate the color and, and make it the color that you want. So it really pops. And then when you're done, just turn off visualize range. And now suddenly you've got um, a really nice looking image with the color that you would like featured and it looks great. Let's take a look at another example. These are flower fields out in the California desert. And let's say we wanted to add some luminance or saturation to the yellows and to this nice little line of purple in the front. I think in this case, what I would start with is our point color. So I would select our eyedropper and I would just go in here and select this little piece of yellow right there. So I click on that. You can see Lightroom has identified that color and then we can bring up our luminance or bring it down. In this case, I'm gonna bring it up a little bit and then I'm gonna bring up the saturation a little bit 
And now those yellow flowers are really popping, which is really cool. And we can do the same thing with this. Check this out. We'll just hit that eyedropper again. We're going to go to our purple flowers here. We're going to select an area that uh, looks like it's going to be the best fit, probably right about there. Now Lightroom has selected that specific color, and we can bring our luminance up. We can bring our luminance down. But when you bring it up, look what it does. It just like lights those things up. You can add the saturation or remove saturation. Probably don't want to add too much because it starts to get a little little pixelated there maybe. Um, but if we just add that little bit and bring our luminance up, and then, I mean, just like that, and that's even before doing any other processing to this image, we've got those colors really popping. And then we can continue to process however you would like. There you go. Please let me know in the comment section if you have any questions about color grading or how to select a color. Please subscribe to the channel if you have not. I would love to have you on board. We've got lots more videos like this coming. We've done a lot already. Thank you for being here, and we'll talk to you soon.